Yeah, that's, that's always a balance, but if you always look very short on it, you won't achieve anything. Sometimes you have to take also the long-term uh, glasses on and say, if we call George and Paul a player in, if we don't give them any playing time, why should we call them in? So on the one hand, we, that is a part of our journey to give this player a chance to see how they can cope with international football. And I, when we have selected them, we, have a, we believe in them, we have trust in them that they will go out and do a good performance. And sometimes you have to say, what, yes, we, are, we, are, we want to have a good result, but the most important also is that we are looking for good performance. Because end of the day, if you perform well, if you do a good performance, there is a good chance that you will get a good result. And if you get a good result, you will get a good stand in the, in the, uh, in the fixture. But it doesn't start with it start it doesn't start with result. It starts with performance. So we, we have this player, and we are sure that tomorrow, when we put, we will put uh, a number of these players because tomorrow's game will be without Simba players because they have been playing and they have been traveling. They're not even here yet, so they will not uh, be a part of the, the team tomorrow. There will be the foreign player and the player who trained with us yesterday. And there, there is a number of young player, new player. And they are there because we are ready to give them the chance because we have to believe in them. Yes. No, and that was because there was some issue at that moment which I could not uh, highlight. Uh, but of course, we have followed Adi Yusuf, and we know that he is scoring some goals uh, for his club. So, but at that moment, I was not in a position that I could tell you about. So he, we have been monitoring him uh, like the others all the time, and. Now everything worked out and he could be here. So we have also the same belief in him like everyone else. And I'm quite happy that we see we have some striker like uh, George Sempole, we have uh, Yusuf, we have uh, Ibrahim. And there, some of these players that, that look quite strong and, and solid and I'm excited to see them playing international game. A guy like Ibrahim, he has scored a number of goals also. George Sempole is very aggressive. And I like that uh, the, the present they are, they are coming with. Maybe they are a little bit raw in some technical aspect in some way, but I think it's important when you invite player. Should you look for the weakness or should you look for the strengths? Exactly. So we, we, if you take uh, George and Paul, maybe one would one say, ah, but this guy technically is not so good. Well, maybe he's right, but is he strong? Is he aggressive? Can he shoot with both legs? Yeah, so we're looking at his strengths. If you have like one, two, or maybe three strengths as a football player, you can go far. And it's not your weakness, it will always be your strengths who bring you to the top level, to the national team. Thank you. With the players, and when we had meeting with them yesterday, we are not talking about result. We are talking about that they should go in and perform. I think it, that, that mindset is important for me, that the players are coming with a performing attitude that they can perform. Because if you tell them, you have to win, if you don't win, we will kill you or whatever, they, they, they will be very nervous. So don't stress the players. Try to, to what, what every player who are here, they want to win tomorrow, for sure. So we tell them, go out and perform and use your strengths and what your strengths give that to the team so if Shadrach have some strengths I have some strengths and we put that together we have a strong team so that's what we are focusing on that is the performance and hopefully the performance will give us some good result thank you as a coach you always want you want more you want more preparation and now we have this and we play three international uh, matches that's good then when we come to June, when we have to start the Afghan qualifiers, of course I will hope that we can get a good camp before we have to play the Afghan qualifiers to finalize our preparation. But that is the life for the, for the modern coach, that there is a league and the league is going on, and that's not only for me, that's for every coach. When, the, when you select a team, yes, I think it's very natural and it's obviously that there will be discussion. Because maybe one player, one man is a, I think this player. But you said, no, 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 it should be him. 
And now we start the discussion. That is the part of the football life, the interest. So for me, it's, an, it's, it's a healthy and good discussion. And this discussion is everywhere in the world. Every coach who select a team, there will always be some people say, maybe they also can have personal interest. So maybe they are saying something because they have a personal interest. I think you understand what I'm saying, right? So there will always be this discussion. And I think it's fair, even when Shadrach and me, we are, we are talking about the team. We say, okay, this player. But if we take him, we cannot take this player. Because our job, my job, is to balance things out. First of all, there is a limited number. I think this time 26 players is, is enough. Then the 26 players, you think, okay, we take 20 midfielder. Hey, it doesn't make sense. So you have to split it up to say, we need to take some defender. From the defenders, you again say, okay, we need to have some on the left side and the right side, fullback. We need to have some in the center. We need also to have a balance about experienced players and players who, who, who are new. So we try to balance all these things out. For the, for the man on the street, he discuss football. Maybe he have, this is my favorite player, and he's not there, so I'm not happy. I want this player to be here. Which is fair, but the job for a coach is to see the whole picture. The last part of your question, if we can add uh, more player, yes, you can always add more player, if, uh, but that is not the plan to add more player for the moment, but you never know what happened. That can be, we have had a long time with COVID issue, for people can be sick or whatever, injured, and then we have to, to make adjustment uh, to that. But the plan is to stick with the players we have selected, because we mean that is what we think is the, the good team. And I hear a little bit of discussion, but there's also a lot of people telling good selection, good selection, good selection, good that you bring new player in, that we have this player and this player. But a part of football life is the discussion. Even if a club is playing, you always, why the coach not taking him instead of him? That's football. Let's discuss and that's football. End of the job, end of the day, the final word for the national team is me and I'm I can take that we have this discussion, that's fine. I try to tell you the, uh, my argument, why are we choosing why we are cho who we are choosing.